Hey, this is from way, way, way back, five years ago when I started doing this crap. Okay? It, this was this was drawn by a guy named Don Rosa who did all the Donald Duck, not all of them, but a good portion of them, in 96. Okay? He did all the Donald Duck for Walt Disney. It's in, if you go look him up, it's R-O-S-A. Anyway, this is one of the first videos. Now we see the cube with an S on it. That's a sine wave. This is a time cube. That's what that little thing down here in the corner that you call your Windows logo is. Your Windows logo looks wavy because anything with a wave in it represents time. So here, <clears throat> here it says, yikes, it's heading for my brand new twin office towers, right? See it? Okay, and then bang, it smashes into it and they fall down. It looks like you just added two rental properties, right? It says, hmm, but maybe I gained a nice tourist attraction, which is what it became eventually because it's called the Rainbow Memorial. It's a tourist attraction. Now, this was done in 96. This guy has deep ties to the, to the Nazi party. If you go look at this guy's stuff and who he's affiliated with, it becomes clear that he's with the big the guys with the big red X. <clears throat> I'm sure that he was never approached by the CIA. This is this is so ludicrous that the guy should have been fucking hung by his fucking heels just for this cartoon. Hang on one second, let me bring up something else here. Let's take a look. Here's another one of his that's in front, yeah, I believe it's German. Here it is here, the cube again, right? Okay, Walt Disney, this is the German one here. Now, let's go to his Facebook page. Here it is here, Don Rosa. How interesting. He's got 540 likes, that's nine, right? Here's your 936 with a two in there. There's your 9362, okay? October 7th, 18. So there's your nine and there's your seven again, okay? This, this this guy reeks of this. So when we look when we look at the original picture again, okay, let me just go retrieve another picture. So if we look, this picture with that's that that's the Hyatt, the little cube in between the two world towers. Okay, that's a representation of the thing right here. See it? These are the same two pictures. Okay, it's like. This stuff is, it's, it's so funny when you start understanding it. That a guy drew it in 96, that, that's how long this thing was playing. Let me explain something to you. Everything has a back door in it. No, no, no Windows program that was ever created that was the government was locked out of. When those buildings were built, the charges were already placed in, the, in that building, in those buildings. The reason for that is, is it, they were placed in, 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 in structural positions because if they ever had to take those things down with all of those buildings around it, it had to be precise. See, nobody ever stops and brings this up. They were built with the charges in it because just like, just like the windows always has a back door, those buildings had a back door to bring them down without, have, without having to spend all that time and labor to uh, take those things apart beam by beam. In other words, for whatever reason, if they ever had to take them down, the charges were already there. It wasn't there was this big conspiracy about them going into planning that stuff. That stuff was already there. The only thing that people forget about is that in 91, if you go look at the pictures and I have them, they came up with some bullshit story that some fucking Iranian guy or whatever that was a precursor to all that other shit. Uh, the FBI gave him some fake stuff and he went down there and and uh, whatever the big story went out well it did blow out the basements it made a huge giant freaking hole well Halliburton which was Dick Cheney's company uh, Bush got gave the contract to Halliburton Halliburton had unrestricted access to those basements for as long as they needed when they got done they said that they actually built the walls 10 feet thicker Okay, now when you look at the base of those buildings, they were knocked off center about five feet, which means something had to hit them so hard that it actually rocked them uh, five feet. So my guess is if the walls were 10 feet thicker, basically what they did is they took plastic, <clears throat> which is C4 or plastic, plastic explosive, and they just made the walls 10 feet thicker with that stuff. 
to ensure that this thing wasn't gonna, you know, those buildings had to come down. There couldn't be anything standing because everything everything was a clue as to the reality of this thing. So to, to make sure that the thing came down, they made the walls 10 feet bigger in the basements. <clears throat> and those were the first things to go off. Because they picked them up, they picked the shockwave up in Colorado at the, uh, the uh, mining school in Golden, Colorado. I know where that is because I used to hitchhike up and down that road and I used to see it all the time. So that's where they picked it up from. So this stuff, yes, 100% evil, occultist bullshit. Um, the big red X, Zionist Judaism, uh, which is basically Nazism. It's just a facet of the same thing. Okay, Jews aren't going to stop shaking hands. Anybody that knows anything about Jews knows that in the Diamond District, those guys seal a deal with a handshake. They do not sign contracts. Them guys don't fuck around with money like you and I do. Uh, they shake hands with diamonds, and I mean hundreds of millions of dollars worth of diamonds. It's a handshake because there, your word is your bond. See, with us, it's just like, well, fuck that guy. Or I screw the electric company. I'll pay him next week. You know. So, you know, they're not going to ban you from shaking hands. It's just an excuse for the story, as most of these stories on the news are. They're just excuses. Somebody wrote me and said, Lady Gaga's over here, this guy's over here, this guy's over here, this guy's over here. Well, they're just, they're just the reason for the story. You have to have a reason to write a story about something, so you use a celebrity. Or you use numbers. When you look at these stories in the news, look at the numbers. That's the re that's the reality of the story. You know, what, what is the code that you're looking at? You don't even have to understand the code, but once you see it, you know, we can all agree that somebody's trying to pull the wool over our eyes. I mean, that much we surely can agree on. Um, just because we can't decode it exactly, there's a pretty, you know, there's a pretty good idea of what's going on here. Biblically, it's them trying to take over the world. And the fallen ones using mankind to get to, uh, uh, a means to an end. You know, that's the biblical uh, thing about it. Through this clown named Jacob, which is Israel, and Israel is Saturn. I know, Pastor Picos, DD, is that guy a pastor or is he a freaking dentist? What the fuck is Pastor Pico DD? A doctor of doctrine? Oh, yeah, they'd rather listen to a Kiss album than that idiot talking. <clears throat> and I just, uh, just, the story is becoming more and more clear. You know, the, the, the people, you know, the, the Christians especially want to cry and whine and say, oh, Israel this and Israel that. Well, look at the last picture I, I did in the last video. Or if it was in this video, whatever. The, the X with the, with the religions behind it. It's all run by the same thing. And when people start understanding that, you'll understand that you've been duped. It's people's ego that makes it impossible for them to go, Wow, I really did get, I really was stupid. There's nothing embarrassing about it, we're all stupid. But we're still, we're still multi-retarded to this whole thing. But at least we see a glimmer of what the fuck is going on, right? Oops, sorry, I swear, I shouldn't do that. Somebody told me to are right through the gates, so I shouldn't, be, I shouldn't be using the swear words. Well, you know, and then somebody told me, you have a lot of anger that you should control. Nah, I don't think so, because I have a right to be angry about this stuff. Because you know what, at this at this point, Joshua, I feel like I'm completely alone out here. Um, because I'm the only guy standing up. That's not referring to you guys, I'm talking about, as a rule, how many people have called Fox and accused them of being tied in with the occult? Probably nobody. How many people have spent their own money to track down a license plate number from a Fox News story to find out an address? Nobody. And I'm, soon I'm going to be the only guy to drive to an address that I've paid money for off of a Fox News story. <clears throat> to seal the deal on that, that complete thing is, is fraud and occulted. That's why I get angry. <clears throat> I'm not mad at you guys. I'm mad at the situation and the, the way this is being pulled off. Where we can just stand up and say no. Just stand up and say no. It's as simple as that. 